Hi guys and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here welcome my name is Leone I'm a mum to my toddler Isla who's two and a half and I'm currently expecting baby number two So this video is going to be a 20 week pregnancy update I thought it's a good point in pregnancy just to come on here and update you guys Because it's halfway through the pregnancy, can you believe it? Like halfway through And also here in the UK you have your 20 week autonomy scan to check everything's okay with the baby So I thought I'd just jump on here and let you know how it's all going so I have done a first trimester recap and I will do a full second trimester recap but I thought I'd just jump on here and let you know where I am so far in the second trimester now everyone says the second trimester is you just feel great you're glowing and um, part of that is true because it is better than the first trimester or the third trimester but are you glowing and feeling great every day probably not so don't be eluded or, or feel like oh my god you're alone because you're feeling crap in your second trimester I have really good days like when I feel good in the second trimester I feel really good I'm full of energy I just feel fantastic I've got a bump I'm loving life and I feel really good but that is few and far between because I have gone from one extreme to feeling great to the next day absolutely feeling like crap so i'm still having those bouts of extreme tiredness still i feel sick i've had quite a few stomach bugs actually this um last few weeks which is crazy i think it's just my toddler bringing everything home like everything is worse in pregnancy when she brings something home i catch it so much worse and obviously you can't take anything in pregnancy so you just gotta suffer it that's been really bad i've been suffering quite bad with headaches um not i'm not concerned about them at the moment because they do go away with paracetamol they just seem to be quite daily i'm trying to keep on top of my hydration i'm also starting to take iron supplements as well just to make sure that i'm okay with my iron i didn't have a problem with my iron levels in my last pregnancy but i did soon after birth and i had to go on island tablets so i just want to make sure that I am keeping those levels good up until my birth and after as well. So I'm going to supplement now. I'm just using this Baptone um, liquid ones in orange juice. So yeah, I have not been feeling great, but I am having really good days, or well, maybe some weeks as well. So it's all like up and down in the second trimester of how I'm feeling. So if you didn't see my gender scan video and my gender reveal, I am having a, another little girl, which I was quite surprised about because I thought that it was a boy. Everyone thought it was a boy, except for my little girl who was like, no, it's a baby sister. She was right, of course. But yeah, I'm so I'm so pleased that she gets a sister. I said I wanted a sister for her so I didn't know I didn't care really which order that comes in whether we'll have another girl and then maybe a boy next time but yeah I am really happy and I can't wait to dress them and have them be all matchy matchy like it's my dream to have two little girls I'm really excited so the next thing I want to talk about is the placenta and baby movements I know it's always a quite common question around this time is when am I going to feel my baby move people are worried because they get to 20 weeks and they haven't you know things like that it all depends on your pregnancy how many pregnancies you've had where your placenta is so i've got an anterior placenta again so that's on the outside i had it with i love which can mean that it may take a bit longer to feel baby movements my first pregnancy with an anterior placenta i don't think i felt anything for probably until 22 23 weeks i remember having my 20 week scan and she was moving and the snuggle was like oh can you feel that and i was like no i can't feel a thing and she was really active so don't be disheartened if it is your first pregnancy and you've got an anterior presenter if you're not feeling anything around 20 weeks it did take me a good few weeks but this time round, again with an anterior placenta second pregnancy i started feeling little flutters around 16 weeks and i guess i kind of knew what i was also looking out for in terms of movements because some people get a bit of wind and think it's a movement that you, you once you know you know so little flutters for about 16 weeks and a lot 16 18 weeks onwards i've definitely been feeling baby movements they're a lot more regular now i feel them in the mornings and afternoons and they're definitely proper movements so yeah a lot earlier this time around with an interior placenta but it is my second pregnancy so i just want to say just don't worry too much if you're not feeling anything around this time, especially if it's your first pregnancy. So the next point is food aversions and cravings. So I haven't got anything strong 
like craving wise or strong food aversions I do feel like I'm going back to having a food aversion to lamb had that with Isla I don't know why it's lamb but mm, yeah just something about it just do not like it or meat this time around I'm not not too fussed on like cooked meats but craving wise I do feel like this time around I'm craving a lot of orange juice at the moment and I don't know whether that's because my body's telling me something like I need it because of iron or anything like that but I would say I didn't get strong aversions or cravings till a bit later on still so I think I'm a bit early in this pregnancy to get them but I do feel like there are certain things that I'm starting to either dislike or like. So the next one is um, my best friend has come out and that is my pregnancy pillow. Oh. I missed it so much. I had this one with Isla. This is the BB Hug Me Pillow. Now, there are so many different pillows out there that you can choose from. I love this one because A, it can mold to your body. You can also like tie it round and use it as a feeding pillow. It's quite handy. So with, if you're breastfeeding, you can put the baby on here. And also, which I really loved about um, this pillow is that when I was really heavily pregnant, I used to put it in a circle, put it on the bed, and then like l place my bump into like the donut hole so I could lay on my lay on my front really. And that, that was like really good just to take the weight off your back sometimes. And I really enjoyed that. So there are so many different shapes and sizes, but I would really recommend investing in one that you can use for multiple purposes, like a feeding pillow, or you know so you can mold it round and you can lay on your front when your back's getting too much like that is um something i really do recommend and something else that i really want to talk to you and actually there's another thing as you can hear i'm getting the breathlessness already it is a quite common thing in pregnancy about getting breathless like i just talking too fast or too much i'm out of breath already doing anything too over exerting i'm like so sorry if i sound out of breath on here it's pregnancy breath the other thing i want to talk to you guys about is um hormones or pregnancy rage now i don't get the hormones where I'm upset or crying a lot in pregnancy especially postpartum but I get really bad rage like I get so angry and I can feel that like kicking in already and I think it's anger but I've also got really bad well, not bad but I don't normally suffer with anxiety and I remember around the second trimester around this time I started getting a bit of anxiety in my pregnancy and it's really weird because I don't know why I can't pinpoint it and I think it is just something that can be quite common but I remember like doing yoga with Isla and it must have been in my second trimester because we went into lockdown in my third so I wouldn't be doing yoga classes but I had to go because I just remember like just being so anxious all the time or raging like I go from like being really low like, or just being really angry but it's like absolutely <laughs> so crazy like how I generally not like this and then as soon as I get pregnant I'm like a raging anxiety ridden crazy woman to be honest so shall I show you guys the bump so there you go I'm wearing some really thick fleecy leggings today I'm just trying to get my tiptoe so I can get it in the camera but baby is a popping you definitely get so much bigger in your second pregnancy and I guess in subsequent pregnancies you just get so big so quickly like I can't believe it. it's gone so fast it seemed to be progressing really well but yeah and then the last little update of Chickadida here with her autonomy scan is everything was absolutely fine apart from her belly circumference that was measuring smaller than it should be for her age now sonographer talked to the midwife and then they came back saying they weren't concerned at this point i'm guessing they believe that there will be a, a certain element of catch up and on growth i actually already have growth scans booked in for like every month from my third trimester up until birth to see how the baby is measuring anyway so i've got them booked in so i'm guessing they don't really feel like they need to book any more in but yeah, I'm not too worried at the moment. If they're not worried, I'm not going to be worried. It's still early days and, and the babies can play catch up, can't they, with their size. But I think I think her belly was measuring, like everything else is on the 50th centile 
or above. Like Isla was on the 75th, like everything. She was a big baby. She was 812. She was two weeks overdue, but she was 812. I think the belly is like just above the fifth centile. I'm not really sure. I can't remember the measurements. It's just smaller. But yeah, but everything is okay with her. So yeah, that is my 20 week pregnancy update. I thought I'd just come in here and just do a quick one for you guys because I know it's quite interesting and it is a bit of a milestone, this one. And I do find these like 20 week ones quite helpful. Definitely did in my first pregnancy. So as I said, I've got my first trimester recap and other pregnancy videos on my channel. So go give them a check. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i've got a little more pregnancy and motherhood content coming up for you guys and i'll see you guys in the next video goodbye